The Vietnam War, with its relentless battles, unleashed tactics both ingenious and bone-chilling. Join us as we venture into this historical chapter, revealing the sinister traps that define the conflict, from deadly and poisonous weapons to everyday things disguised as weapons. So buckle up! Caltrops Imagine a four-pronged metal device with spikes that always point upwards, ready to strike. That's the caltrop, an ancient weapon that found new life in the Vietnam War. Both sides wielded this ingenious tool to disrupt enemy movement in creative ways. The U.S. used them to deflate tires along the Ho Chi Minh Trail, slowing down enemy transport to a crawl. Meanwhile, the Viet Cong employed larger caltrops to wound foot soldiers and spread fear through their ranks. The caltrop's straightforward design showcased how adaptability and psychological warfare were just as potent as raw firepower on the unconventional battlefield. Gas Traps These aren't your garden variety traps. They're like the dark side of science fiction, straight from the nightmares of the Viet Cong. Tear gas, mustard gas, and even homemade nastiness. You name it. Suddenly, the jungle isn't just about avoiding snakes and spikes, it's about dodging deadly fumes. But here's the kicker. These traps don't just hurt your body, they mess with your mind, too. Imagine walking through the jungle, the air thick with uncertainty, every breath a gamble, every step a dance with danger. In a war where even the air turns against you, the jungle's chaos knows no bounds. Slithering Snake Pits Introducing the Snake Pit Trap, the Viet Cong's answer to turning U.S. soldiers' footsteps into an unexpected snake party. These aren't your garden variety pits. Think of a pit, but instead of treasure, you've got venomous snakes ready to say hi. Now, throw in some camo leaves and twigs to make it extra sneaky. Soldiers treading carefully suddenly found themselves dancing with vipers. But wait, there's more. Not only do you get bitten, but the fall itself adds a sprinkle of injury to the mix. Imagine the shock of a sudden plunge, followed by the hiss of an unexpected snake encounter. If you're walking in Vietnam, these might still exist, so stay vigilant. Tripwire Grenades Picture the Vietnam battlefields loaded with traps that turn jungle walks into heart-pounding games of hide-and-seek. Among these tactical terrors, one sneaky star takes the spotlight, tripwire grenades. Now, let's break it down. Invisible wires, dim jungle lighting. Sounds like a Hollywood suspense flick, right? Soldiers stepped into this real-life thriller with every footfall a gamble. But these grenades? They're the ultimate party crashers, turning your average walk into a grand fireworks display. The damage? Oh, it's a fireworks show of its own. From fatal kabooms to shrapnel galore, these grenades knew how to make an entrance. And even if you're not on the VIP guest list, the shockwaves might give you a free ticket. Who needs roller coasters when you've got tripwire grenades to keep you on your toes? Tangled in Tunnel Trouble Now, let's dive in tunnels that are more than just tunnels. They're a mix of mystery and mischief. These aren't your everyday crawl spaces. They're like secret pathways that dare you to step in. Imagine a network of tunnels with twists, turns, and hidden surprises. From pungi stakes at the bottom of pitfalls to swinging bamboo tricks, these tunnels are a real-life escape room except with no easy way out. But wait, there's more. Hidden grenade traps and flooded sections turn the adventure into an extreme obstacle course. Soldiers faced a challenge that made I'm Lost the anthem of the day. And let's not forget the underground panic. I wouldn't want to be stuck there. Sneaky Poonjai Stakes Meet the Poonjai Stakes, those cunning creations that the Viet Cong guerrillas unleashed during the Vietnam War. These aren't just any stakes, they're like Mother Nature's pranksters on steroids. 
Imagine sharpening bamboo sticks and then toasting them over a campfire. That's right, these steaks are barbecue ready. But wait, it gets even wilder. They're coated in not so pleasant stuff, from animal yuckiness to venom. Now, picture soldiers dancing through the jungle, cautious with every step. The Viet Cong's trick? Pits with punjai steaks were strategically hidden, ready to turn the soldier's stride into an impromptu kebab. And don't even get me started on the fear factor. Stepping on an unseen pit in the dense Vietnam jungles? Bamboo Whips Enter the Bamboo Whips. These aren't your grandma's garden variety. They're like nature's ninja attack. Picture a flexible bamboo shoot playing a game of hide and slap with a tripwire. It's like jungle warfare meets jungle gym, but with a twist. Instead of swings, you get smacks. And guess what? These bamboo bad boys don't stop at just ouch. They've got a sharp secret up their sleeve. Barbs and pointy bits for added flair. And as if that weren't enough, they blend in like pros. Soldiers share tales of peaceful strolls suddenly turning into bamboo-inspired dance-offs. If vines start slapping you during your jungle adventure, it's not the plants playing tag, it's nature's own surprise party. Sneaky grenade with a flaggy twist. In the covert world of the Vietnam War, the communists had a surprising ace up their sleeve, or rather beneath their hidden flags. Imagine this scenario, an enemy flag beckons as a potential trophy, ready for the taking. Unrecognized to the unsuspecting soldier, this seemingly innocent flag conceals a deadly secret. It's a grenade's covert hideout. Just as the daring capture is set in motion, chaos erupts. The supposed celebration turns into a rain of shrapnel and havoc. Suddenly, what appeared to be a flagpole transforms into a ticking time bomb, leading to a party nobody anticipated. It's similar to stepping into a surprise birthday celebration, but with an explosive twist that leaves no room for celebration. Cartridge Trap Prepare to meet the bullet's unexpected side gig, the cartridge trap. Imagine innocently stepping on a seamlessly harmless bamboo tube, only to be greeted by a nail that decides your foot is its new target. Ouch! It's the military-themed game of stepping on pointy Legos, and trust us, no one's having fun. But that's not even the grand finale. Enter the North Vietnamese soldiers, masters of hide-and-seek, ready to spring their ambush. So, not only do you get a surprise foot piercing, but you also get a front row seat to a tactical ambush that'll leave you wondering why you ever signed up for this adventure. The Silent Menace Viet Cong's use of wire traps was a silent and deadly strategy that exploited the dense jungle terrain of Vietnam. These traps, such as snap traps and slide traps, were ingeniously designed to cause sudden and severe injuries to unsuspecting victims. Simple yet effective, the traps used the victim's own movements against them, leading to injuries that ranged from minor cuts to life-threatening wounds. These wire traps transformed the battleground into a treacherous landscape where every step could spell danger. By capitalizing on the element of surprise, and the environment's natural concealment, the Viet Cong turned the very ground beneath their enemies into a formidable adversary. Venomous Warfare The Viet Cong's use of poisonous creatures and sabotage tactics revealed their mastery of psychological warfare, incorporating nature's most dangerous creatures into their arsenal. They employed snakes and scorpions to strike fear into enemy troops. These creatures were placed in hidden compartments, booby traps, or even soldier sleeping areas, adding a layer of psychological terror to the physical threat. Additionally, the poisoning of food and water supplies aimed to weaken morale and disrupt enemy operations. By exploiting primal fears and basic necessities, the Viet Cong blurred the lines between combatants and the natural world, making every aspect of the battlefield a potential danger. 
the art of entrapment. The use of net and falling traps in the Vietnam War exemplified their adaptability and cunning. Man catchers or net traps were designed to ensnare enemy soldiers and lift them into the air, rendering them helpless. These traps used a concealed rope triggered by the victim's step. Falling traps, on the other hand, were intended to lead soldiers into hidden pits filled with sharpened stakes or other hazards. Often disguised as natural terrain, these traps preyed on fear and uncertainty, creating an environment where every step held potential danger. The Viet Cong's ability to exploit their surroundings and manipulate psychology added an extra layer of challenge to their opponents' efforts. Booby Traps and Landmines The Viet Cong's strategic use of booby traps and landmines during the Vietnam War was a master class in psychological warfare, ranging from crude, improvised grenades to sophisticated, bouncing beddies. These devices were designed not only to cause physical harm, but also to sow fear and disruption among enemy forces. However, the true impact was psychological. Stories of soldiers losing limbs or lives to hidden traps spread unease, making every step through the dense jungles a nerve-wracking ordeal. The Viet Cong's ability to leverage simple materials for lethal effect showcased their prowess in asymmetric warfare. Bouncing Bettys Now, gather around for the war's wackiest surprise guest! Bouncing Bettys! Forget landmines that just go kaboom! These mines are the life of the party, bouncing around like they've got moves to show off. Think of a mine that doesn't settle for a simple explosion. Nope, these Bettys aim high, literally! When triggered, they don't just go for a quick leg blast, they're all about a torso and head combo. They're like the party poppers you didn't see coming, spewing shrapnel confetti everywhere. But here's the kicker, they don't discriminate. Even if you're not the one who hit the dance floor first, you might still get hit with the confetti shrapnel. Talk about a party favor you'd rather avoid. The lesson here? When a mind says party, don't RSVP. Bridge of Deception Ah, the bridge trap, where safety takes a nosedive faster than a cookie into a glass of milk. These bridges weren't your run-of-the-mill crossings, they were more like trap doors leading to a water-soaked carnival of agony. Imagine soldiers taking the plunge, thinking they're crossing to safety, only to land in a watery ambush. Below the surface lurked bamboo stakes, eager to turn their swim into a spine-chilling nightmare. But wait, the terror doesn't stop there. Just when you thought it was safe to catch your breath, Viet Cong soldiers descend from the heavens, delivering a nightmare from above. Suddenly, that chess club seems like a much better extracurricular activity. Crossbow Capers we're now talking crossbows, those classic medieval weapons that got a modern makeover for the Vietnam War. These aren't your grandpa's arrows, they're like ninja stars on steroids. Imagine a crossbow, but with a twist, a sneaky tripwire hiding in the bushes. When you least expect it, these crossbows release their tension and send a not-so-friendly hello your way. Imagine a surprise arrow greeting when you're just trying to enjoy a walk in the jungle. Yikes! But wait, it gets spicier. These arrows aren't your typical pointy arrows. Nope, they're dipped in poison or coated with ouch-inducing substances. Soldiers share tales of jungle strolls turning into arrow-dodging dance-offs. Crossbows, you've got to love their dedication to surprise parties. Mace Madness Say hello to the Mace Trap, the hidden menace that took the Vietnam War by storm. These aren't your everyday garden tools. Imagine a medieval mace, the kind you'd expect to see in a knight's hands. Now give it a wild twist, hang it from a tree, hide it under some leaves, and add some sharp pointy bits for extra touch. Soldiers strolling through the jungle suddenly find themselves in a mace showdown. And it's not a fair fight! But guess what? 
these traps weren't just about the ouch factor, they were like a double whammy. Smack you with a mace, then give you a mental zap too. Imagine walking on eggshells through a jungle where every step could unleash a surprise mace party. Talk about taking forest walks to a whole new level. Spike Board Surprise Meet the Spike Board, the master of turning your footsteps into a wild party you didn't RSVP for. These aren't your usual wooden boards. Imagine stepping on a board and suddenly, ouch! Sharp spikes turn your foot into a pincushion. But wait, it gets worse. These spikes are like the worst kind of party favors dipped in poison or nastiness. And here's the twist. These traps weren't just about physical pain. Nope, they're psychological masterpieces too. Imagine walking through the jungle, each step a nerve-wracking dance with danger. The Viet Cong's message? Every step could be your last. It's like a game of hopscotch with a nasty twist, and the jungle's the playground. Step carefully, folks! M50 Ontos. The M50 Ontos is an iconic example of American military innovation during the Vietnam War. Although its appearance and design were unconventional, the Ontos became a powerful weapon against the Viet Cong. Built by the Alice Chalmers Corporation and introduced in 1955, this armored vehicle featured a small size and a turret armed with six 106mm recoilless rifles. Its unique capability to fire all six rifles almost simultaneously proved devastating on the battlefield, making it effective against enemy defenses and armor. Despite its odd appearance, the Antos found its niche in the challenging terrains of Vietnam. It left a legacy of audacious engineering and remarkable firepower, illustrating the adaptability of military strategies during the conflict. Tunnel Rats and Their Tools Picture this, soldiers armed with nothing but a 45 caliber pistol, a bayonet, and a flashlight descending into the shadowy depths of the Viet Cong's intricate tunnel networks. These brave souls aptly named Tunnel Rats were chosen for their small stature that allowed them to navigate the tight underground passages. Their weapons might seem simple, but within the suffocating darkness of the tunnels, they became instruments of survival and courage. These tools were more than just objects. They were extensions of the Tunnel Rats' bravery and adaptability, a testament to the strangeness born out of a unique context. Everyday Objects as Weapons Towards the end of World War II, pragmatic German soldiers ingeniously transformed commonplace objects into deadly traps. Allied troops entering abandoned German houses were met with a hazardous game of survival. Even a seemingly harmless apple from a basket could trigger an explosive surprise. Fruit baskets, potato sacks, and even seemingly harmless wells were rigged with explosives. Germans also created traps involving baiting victims to pick up valuable items, only to set off hidden explosives. Even mechanical pencils were weaponized, housing explosive mechanisms showcasing the extent of their ingenuity in creating lethal surprises. Explosive Can Remember those good old stories your grandpa used to share about booby-trapped cans? Well, the Vietnamese took that concept and cranked it up to explosive levels. Imagine stepping on a concealed metal spike that feels less like a foot massage and more like a rude awakening. Boom! An unseen explosive device decides to join the party, prompting you to reconsider your life choices. It's like accidentally stepping on a prankster landmine. M202 Flash Meet the M202 Flash, a weapon that brought fiery devastation to the forefront of the Vietnam War. In 1978, this four-barreled rocket launcher debuted, unleashing incendiary, gel-filled rockets that burst into flames upon contact with air. The Flash was more than just a physical weapon. It was a psychological force capable of setting structures ablaze and instilling terror in the enemy. With its distinctive design, searing power, and impressive range, 
the M202 Flash embodied the relentless pursuit of military innovation amidst the chaos of combat. MC1 Knife Amidst the chaos of the Vietnam War's modern weaponry, there was an unsung hero, the MC1 Knife. Designed as a multi-purpose survival tool for downed pilots, this knife held a dual identity. It sported a traditional shank for general use, but it was the hooked blade that set it apart. This unique blade was tailored to cut parachute cords and harnesses quickly, freeing pilots from entanglements. The MC-1's automatic switchblade design further highlighted its significance, enabling swift deployment during life-or-death moments. In a sea of destructive weapons, the MC-1 knife stood as a symbol of survival and adaptability. Operation Popeye In a collision of science and strategy, Operation Popeye took the Vietnam War to a whole new level. This covert mission aimed to manipulate the weather, extending the monsoon season over the Ho Chi Minh Trail. By creating excessive rainfall, the U.S. hoped to hinder enemy supply lines. This surreal fusion of meteorology and warfare blurred the line between natural phenomena and military tactics. While its direct military impact was limited, Operation Popeye left a lasting legacy, shaping international laws that prohibited environmental modification for military purposes. It was a reminder that even in the chaos of war, innovation knows no boundaries. Project Eldest Son Project Eldest Son showcased the power of cunning deception and sabotage. This psychological warfare operation involved tampering with enemy ammunition to create fear and mistrust. The U.S. forces rigged a small portion of ammunition to explode when fired, inflicting harm on the users. The goal wasn't mass casualties, but a climate of uncertainty among enemy troops. This strategy, executed by special forces teams, emphasized cunning over firepower. Project Eldest Son exemplifies how warfare can extend beyond brutal force, using fear as a potent tool. XM2 Personnel Detector The XM2 Personnel Detector, known as the People Sniffer, exemplifies the lengths to which innovation was pushed during the Vietnam War. Designed to detect organic compounds emitted by humans, this device aimed to identify enemy presence. Its inventive technology drew air samples over chemical sensors to detect specific markers. While not a traditional weapon, the People Sniffer revolutionized the detection of hidden enemies, bridging the gap between scientific principles and military application. Davy Crockett Weapon System the Davy Crockett weapon system, named after a legendary frontiersman, represented the extreme escalation of military technology during the Cold War era, including the Vietnam War. This portable nuclear weapon, fired from a recoilless rifle, could unleash substantial destruction, despite its small size. While its limited deployment prevented its use in combat during the Vietnam War, the Davy Crockett remains a poignant reminder of the staggering capabilities and ethical dilemmas inherent in nuclear warfare. Daisy Cutter Creating helicopter landing zones and artillery sites in the dense jungle was a top priority. The Daisy Cutter, an airdrop bomb, emerged as a solution beginning with World War II-era bombs and evolving into the M-121 bomb. The U.S. Air Force sought to create clearings using controlled explosions. The Blue 82B C-130 weapons system bomb, or Daisy Cutter, was born, containing a mixture known as GSX. These bombs dropped from C-130 Hercules airplanes unleashed devastating overpressure that cleared trees within a radius of 260 feet. Often employed to create instant landing zones, the Daisy Cutter offered a unique combination of power and precision, carving open the landscape with tremendous force. The Goliath Tracked Mine Now, get ready for some World War II relics! Meet the Goliath Tracked Mine the ultimate remote-controlled mini-tank of World War II. Developed by the genius mines in Germany, this bad boy was a game-changer. Imagine the tiny tank 
packed with explosives, rolling through challenging terrains to deliver a knockout blow. Picture a joystick-wielding operator steering this mini-tank to the target. Then, boom! Destruction! Though not the star of the show, the Goliath's innovation paved the way for today's drone technology. So, next time you see a drone soaring, give a nod to the OG mini-tank. The Well Rod Pistol Enter the Well Rod Pistol, the James Bond gadget of its time. Shh, don't make a sound. This pistol was all about being the ultimate silent assassin. Designed for those sneaky covert ops, this pistol packed a punch without making a peep. The Well Rod was the go-to for taking out enemies without raising an eyebrow. Picture spies assembling this quiet killer just before unleashing its deadly silence. Whether it was assassinating top-ranking officers or giving bad guys the shivers, this pistol was all about stealth. So, next time you're in a hush-hush mission, think of the Well Rod, the OG stealth mode. The Fritz X Radio Guided Bomb Step aside, smart bombs. The Fritz X is the OG radio guided bomb. Think of it as the grandfather of precision guided weaponry. This bad boy, born from German ingenuity, had an operator steering like a gamer on a mission. Imagine being in the cockpit, joystick in hand, guiding this bomb right to the target with laser-like precision. Boom, baby! It was all about blowing up the enemy in style. The Fritz X changed the game, proving that smart technology wasn't just a thing of the future. So, when you see a smart bomb hitting its mark, give a salute to the Fritz X, the OG smart bomb pilot. The Flammenwerfer 35 Meet the Flammenwerfer 35, the ultimate weapon to bring fiery chaos. This flamethrower was like a fire-breathing dragon in your hands. Imagine warriors wielding these bad boys, unleashing sheets of flame to flush out enemies from their hiding spots. It was all about making the enemy run for cover. Picture the mayhem as flames danced and enemies scrambled. Sure, it had its quirks, but the Flammenwerfer 35 was all about intimidation and fiery fun. So, next time you want to heat things up, just remember, there's no party like a Flammenwerfer party. The Proximity Fuse Imagine artillery with a mind of its own. That's the Proximity Fuse for you. This game changer was like a guardian angel for anti-aircraft and ground defenses. Think of it as the ultimate bodyguard, only for the skies. Picture the radar unit inside this beauty, measuring distances and deciding when to detonate with deadly precision. Boom, baby! It was all about making every shot count and giving enemy planes a run for their money. The proximity fuse turned artillery into a strategic genius, raining destruction with a calculated touch. So, next time you hear about precision artillery, give a nod to the Proximity Fuse, the unsung hero of the skies. The Petard Mortar Introducing the Petard Mortar, the weapon that didn't just bring the boom, but also the humor. With a name like that, you know it's not your ordinary mortar. Picture this, tanks equipped with this bad boy, rolling up the fortified structures and delivering a blast of destruction. It was like a comic book come to life. Think of it as the life of the party. Loud, proud, and full of surprises. Sure, it had its quirks, but when it came to turning walls into rubble, the petard mortar was the ultimate party crasher. So, when you're in the mood to make an entrance, just remember, there's a petard mortar waiting to bring down the house. The Nebelwerfer Rocket Launcher Hold on to your helmets as we dive into the Nebelwerfer, the secret star of rocket launchers. Picture this, a multi-barreled rocket launcher born in Germany, packing the punch of artillery and the boom of rockets. Originally just for smoke screens, this weapon took a fearsome turn as explosive rockets took center stage. Imagine a dance of six 150 millimeter rockets soaring through the sky almost all at once. Now that's a showstopper. But here's the twist. These rockets produced a spine-chilling scream, earning them nicknames like Screaming Mimi. Whether it was the roar of the rockets, the Nebelwerfer made its mark. So next time you hear a scream in the sky, 
Think of the Neville Warfer, the original Rockstar rocket launcher. The M29 Weasel Meet the M29 Weasel, the ultimate all-terrain beast of World War II. This vehicle was like the Swiss Army knife of the battlefield, conquering snow, swamp, sand, and more. Imagine soldiers riding in this sleek ride, cutting through the toughest terrains like a hot knife through butter. Whether it was evacuating wounded soldiers or hauling supplies through snowy landscapes, the M29 Weasel was the go-to. Designed to handle the impossible, this ride showcased adaptability in its truest form. So, next time you see an obstacle, just remember, the M29 Weasel would have laughed it off! The Bacham BA349 Natter Hold on tight as we zoom into the Bacham BA349 Natter, the rocket-powered desperation of Germany's last days. This was the ultimate desperation move, a Hail Mary for the skies. Think of brave pilots launching rockets, then bailing out to let the missile crash into the enemy. Talk about fireworks! Though it didn't reach full throttle in combat, the Natter was a symbol of the lengths nations would go to to turn the tide. So when you're feeling brave, just remember, the Natter took rocket science to a whole new level. The M1 Bazooka Step into the world of the M1 Bazooka, the infantry's David taking on tank Goliaths. This man-portable rocket launcher was all about bringing down the big guys. Imagine soldiers carrying this lightweight beast, ready to take on armored giants with a single shot. It was like having a superhero secret weapon in your hands. Picture the thrill as the shape charge warhead penetrated enemy tanks, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. The M1 Bazooka didn't just level the playing field, it flipped it upside down. So next time you're facing a Goliath, remember, you've got a bazooka with your name on it. The Orlikan 20mm Cannon Now, say hello to the Orlikan 20mm Cannon, the ultimate sky defender of World War II. Imagine a machine gun that spewed lead at an astonishing rate of 450 rounds per minute like a symphony of destruction. This cannon was all about giving enemy planes a run for their money. Think of pilots manning these beasts, turning the sky into a no-fly zone for the enemy. Rather on ships or aircraft, the Orlikan was the go-to for taking down aircraft and light-armored vehicles. So, next time you're looking up at the sky, just remember, the Orlikan was the ultimate party crasher for enemy planes. The Henschel HS-293 Guided Missile Lastly, we have the Henschel HS-293, the rocket that guided the way to the future. Imagine a missile with wings guided by an operator's steady hand and a radio control system, like something out of a sci-fi dream. This was the OG guided missile paving the way for modern precision strikes. Picture the suspense as the operator aimed the missile at enemy ships and unleashed destruction from a distance. The HS-293 was like a glimpse in tomorrow's warfare, a harbinger of things to come. So when you see a guided missile in action, think of the HS-293, the rocket that aimed high and hit the mark. Which one of these traps and weapons did you find the most fascinating? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel.